Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to review the Star Wars BB-9E robot and for the deal I got with the robot I also got for free the force band. So there is a lot to talk about so I'll do a separate video for the force band. So before I open the box let's have a look at what they mention on the box here. First of all it's a very nice packaging and we have here signatures LEDs so BB-9 dome is equipped with vibrant LED lights ultra durable shell there is an enhanced radio system BB-9E will react to your presence when its sensors are triggered there's the inductive charger this is a very very nice feature here in the back we have here one hour charge time uh, 30 meter range inductive charging and the USB connector for the charger and here we have a 0.1 authentic movement so you are driving or on patrol it will it will uh, BB9 will roll just like on screen holographic simulation explore the Star Wars galaxy with the app and the droid trainer and here we have the droid to droid experience so BB-9 can interact with other droids by a Sphero and here we have watch with me view films from the Star Wars saga with BB-9E on your side so I can't wait to uh, try that so from now, now on I'll just say BB-9 I won't say BB-9E so let's open the box like I said very nice uh, packaging very very nice so let's uh, remove the sleeve here put that over there and here we have uh, two pieces of uh, tape on the side just going to cut that here carefully I don't want to uh, damage the box there you go and here there you go and I guess it opens like that it's very tight here we go this is BB9E. The first uh, comment that people make is uh, basically like, oh my god, it's small. Well, look at my hand. It's a small robot. So let's take this out here of the package right there. And um, yeah, first impression is this is not a big robot, but it's very, very well made. And let's uh, compare the size here. I'm just uh, curious. And I want to show you here also. So this is a can of Coke and this is BB9. So you can see the size difference. And I thought that uh, Cosmo was small. And uh, I guess some of you may have seen my videos on uh, Cosmo. So this is Cosmo here side by side with uh, BB9. So you can see here the size of uh, our new uh, friend. Now let's look at uh, what else is in the box. So we'll just put the BB-9 here on the side. And here, nice, there is a tab here that we can use to lift the compartment. So this is, uh, maybe there is something over here in this box. USB, like the USB cable. And I think the rest of the box is empty here. Yeah, it looks like it's, uh, it's empty. I'll just open here to make sure. Yeah, it's empty. It's just the uh, the top packaging for BB-9. So this is empty. So this is the USB cable. And here at the bottom of the box, we have two compartments. Again, very, very nicely done. We have here a manual and plastic cover. Same thing over here. So this is the inductive charging station very 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 nice packaging uh, USB connector here it's a, a micro USB not a mini USB so we'll just put that over here and here we have the last item in the box and I think it opens like that so this is what people call the treadmill uh, BB9 will move on this thing here so we'll see for example if you are limited in space uh, where you live you can have BB-9 on the treadmill and you can operate BB-9 with this treadmill uh, setup so uh, let's connect the uh, charging station 
Okay, I connected the inductive charger to a USB uh, charging block. As you can see right now, there is no light indication that you have power. Would have been nice to have a little a LED on the side to tell you that you do have power. But when you put DB9 on it, it lights, as you can see here, the LED uh, go on over here on the side here so if you remove it uh, it will go off eventually now so you don't really see you have power until you put BB9 on it and then you can see here it flashes okay and I guess at some point we may see lights also on BB9 I'm not sure the little manual that came is actually a legal guide as you can see it's all about uh, trademark Star Wars uh, Lucasfilm all that stuff so there's nothing really here and um, if you miss it when you unpack, well, actually, the box does indicate here that you download the app, uh, App Store or Google Play. But at the bottom of the top packaging, right here, it says download the app. So that's the only thing you have. There is no quick uh, start guide that comes with this set. So let's uh, download the app. All right, I downloaded the app as you can see here. So there is an app, by the way, for the Force Band that we will see later, and one app for the droids, uh, BB-8 or uh, BB-9. So we'll just click on that, and this is here the opening screen from uh, Sphero. And we have uh, it is right now loading, downloading additional uh, file uh, content update that will take uh, just a few uh, seconds, I think. If it's too long, I'm just going to uh, accelerate this uh, video here so you don't have to wait for too long. That is it. Done already. You can hear the music. Star Wars. And now we can connect to BB9. Let's go. Scanning. Searching, nothing new on BB9 over here. I don't see any lights. It found BB9E as you can see. Okay, and I can just click on that. Charge your droid during the update. Remember to take your droid off the charger when update is finished. Okay, so it's doing now a, an update. That uh, may take a few minutes, but again, I'm just going to accelerate this video if it's uh, too long. As you can see on the screen, it's a firmware uh, update. B9E, so I'm going to uh, tap on that and then we will just confirm. Okay, so this is the uh, main uh, screen here. So what we will do at this point, we will transfer BB9 onto the, uh, the trainer. There you go. And uh, just uh, oof, turn his LEDs here a bit on the side. So this is here, the, uh, the first screen where it says rotate this, the, uh, the on-screen BB9 until the blue light is facing you because there is no front and back. It's a sphere, so you have to rotate. As you can see here, the uh, blue, the blue LED is now facing me, which is good. So now I can go to the uh, the free moving mode. So I can move with the joystick. I can move forward, as you can see. The V9 is moving forward. I can move backwards. I can move to the left, or I can move to the right. Okay. And you have here also behaviors, so it does a diff different things here. Uh, this one here, I'm not sure what it does, but okay, it seems to be excited. So there are a few, a uh, few more like this one here. Okay, and uh, yeah, a few interesting uh, behavior uh, like this. The second uh, menu item at the top is the uh, patrol mode. So in this mode, BB9. Uh, you put BB9 on the floor and uh, is going to uh, move around and uh, map the area. So it's going to uh, map the area, look for collisions and uh, apparently uh, avoid the collisions in the future. 
And as you can see on the screen, you can see the internal temperature, the chronometer, and also the distance, the travel, and acceleration. The next item is the path menu. So, on this one here, you draw a path on the screen, like so. And as soon as you lift your finger, BB9 is going to do the path. As you can see here, I drew like an oval and it's going to go around. So, as simple as that. The next one is an AR, an AR mode. So, BB9 here will be in the Supremacy ship. So, tap on that and then click on OK. We'll do the calibration of the cell phone by uh, leaving it on the flat surface. Okay, so now we're inside the ship supremacy as you can see. So I can move my phone around and I can see it inside the ship and I can also, like if I look at the platform in front of us, I can move BB9 towards that platform. So to me this is VR, not AR, because the ship does not exist, so it's virtual reality, so it should, I think it should be VR, not, uh, not uh, AR. So you move around the ship, and I'm moving my phone around, and I can see here, down the control room, out, of the, uh, out the window. So this is the uh, AR uh, mode. The next mode is uh, watching a movie with your uh, BB-9 or uh, BB-8. So here there are a few movies that are, that are currently available. Rogue One is there, we have A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and The Return of the Jedi. So we'll try that also uh, later on. We have here the mode with, um, or you can choose no interaction or droid, between droids or with human. And here what happens is when you leave BB-9 on, on its uh, charger, and let's say you have BB-9 in your office, then when you walk in the office, BB-9 will wake up. Or if you pick him up, uh, the app has to be disconnected though, so if you pick him up, he's going to wake up and also move his head. So this is that mode. And then the next one is the, uh, the force band, which I have, but I'm going to uh, do that later in a, uh, in a video on the force band. And the last one is the settings, where you can set the audio and uh, some controls. So this uh, covers all of the um, all of the menus uh, at the top. And now we're going to try the uh, patrol mode and uh, watching a uh, movie. Okay, so now this is the screen to, uh, to control DB9 freely. And what you can see here, the circle on the left, um, Alex is going to touch it here. You can control DB9 with that uh, circle as a joystick. So go ahead, Alex, you can just uh, control and you will see here BB9, as you can see, is a control is uh, being controlled by the cell phone uh, as a joystick. He moves uh, quite well on the hard flooring, but like I said before, when he turns, I find that his his head goes uh, too much uh, too much on the side. So let's try it on the carpet. Okay, so now we are on the carpet. So go ahead, uh, Alex, move uh, BB9. As you can see, he moves quite well on carpet, but uh, not as fast as uh, hardwood. Okay, so this is good. We are now in patrol mode, as you can see. So I'm going to click on play here, and that will make BB9 start to move around in the living room and hopefully he won't go under the furniture over there like he does sometimes back here to our cell phone we can see the elapsed time internal temperature distance to travel and uh, where is he now okay he's supposed to map the area so that he avoids uh, collisions at some point now he just hit the fireplace coming back this way and What's going to happen now? He's going over there. Kitten here, as always, is curious. 
and maybe she will grab BB9, who knows. But uh, yeah, the, he seems to be stuck in the corner, not sure. And looking at our cell phone, what do we have here? Uh, distance traveled, it's not moving, uh, internal temperature, okay, nothing new here. And uh, he is uh, against the, uh, the wall, so not sure what he's going to do from there. So I'll just wait a couple of seconds. Nope, doesn't seem to move too much at this point. Uh, maybe I need to put him in the center of the room. I will do that. I'll just pick him up and put him here in the center of the room. And now he's uh, continuing his exploration. And against the speaker, under the furniture. Wonder if he's going to stay there. Yeah, I think he's stuck. So I'll put him over here. Okay. Now he's going towards the kitten, who is not uh, disturbed too much by our robot. I think she likes she likes him. So as you can see, this mode is nice, but um, we had some collisions, and BB9 was stuck around the living room. So I'm not sure uh, this is a very useful mode, actually. Okay, I'm going to draw a uh, pattern here on my phone, just like this, a loop. And uh, we'll look at BB-8, uh, sorry, BB-9. He's doing the pattern, but he collided with the uh, kitten uh, scratch post. You can see in the app here that we did not complete another one because of the collision. And uh, it's not clear how you, uh, how you erase the uncompleted path. Like there is no, nothing on the screen that says uh, erase or delete the path. So after you complete a path, there is no delete button, like I said. So you have to click on BB9 icon and then you do a new path like so. And as soon as you're done, BB9, as you can see, will do the path. Just like this. The thing I wanted to show also here, I did not really you know, mention that at the beginning, is that the head is a magnet, right? So it, it goes on the ball like that. Uh, another little problem I can see is that we, uh, we use, as you, can, we could, you could see on the video, we use BB9 just for a few minutes and the wheels here are already full of little dirt as you can see here like on the hard wood uh, you get dust like basically within a day and um, you know as you can see the wheels are a bit dirty already and I can see that this will uh, affect the uh, movement of BB9 with uh, its, uh, its head. We are in the uh, movie mode here so as you can see a few movies are not available yet so we'll go here and we'll select the Force Awakens. Now we need to select the language, the movie, English. Okay, and it says here, leave the app open. If you have more than one droid, you can connect more, okay? Plug in device and the droid for best results and start the movie at any time. Okay, so we have here the force awakens just starting to uh, waiting to be started and we have BB9 right here okay so we'll uh, just click on play and no here okay so now the movie is about to start and here on the phone it says uh, syncing okay Apparently, I did some more research because it was not working with my uh, Samsung phone. So that's why I'm trying now with the, our iPhone uh, 6S. You need to put the phone close to a uh, speaker. So, we'll just wait here for a sec. The movie is about to start now, in a long, a long time ago, in the galaxy far, far away. So, it's about to start. We'll get the sound. And... On the phone, 
it still says syncing. Okay, so we'll move the phone close to a speaker. Just like there. And at the moment, our BB9 is not doing anything. Okay, I'll go to the next chapter. Next chapter, there is more action at the beginning, right there. Okay, we'll leave it there. Uh, BB9 is still not reacting. And uh, on our phone, we still have the message syncing. So I'm going to put the phone in front of the main, the uh, center front speaker. It says uh, syncing. Come on, BB8, hurry! Nothing new. I'll get out of that. I'll go to the main mode. Okay, and I'll go back to movie mode. Go back here to the Force Awakens. And by the way, I tried also with Rogue One. This is, a, this is like the third time I'm trying this here, English. And it says sinking. Leave the app open. The droid is connected. The phone is not connected, but it's fully charged. That doesn't make any uh, difference. And we'll leave the phone in front of the speaker right there okay and we'll just go back and uh, this is now there's a lot of action in the movie and nothing is happening with uh, BB9 so uh, yeah I don't know uh, what what I'm doing wrong but I've tried that with two different movies two different phones like in a total of like six times and all I get is uh, syncing on on the phone so I'll stop here I think uh, from memory this is the first time I cannot make a uh, a function or an ability work in all of my videos on drones and Legos and Cosmo and cameras so I'm a bit disappointed uh, oh we have we just got something now after a long while okay no more syncing message that took a long time you saw that now the robot is moving sometimes as I was talking I saw BB9 moving on the side um, okay we'll just wait here more action in the movie my guess is BB-9 is not moving like all the time. That would be very uh, disturbing when you watch a movie to have this gizmo here move and, uh, you know, and make uh, uh, beeps and beeps all the time. But as you can see, we're just waiting for a few minutes and uh, nothing is happening. I'm going to wait a little more. Ah, see, he's moving now. He moved a bit when uh, Kylo ran walked out of the uh, of his uh, spaceship look how old you become he's talking now and nothing is happening you here going back to the phone before you called yourself nothing here just a black screen black basically screen. no more a syncing message so we are synced to the movie uh, BB9 is moving, he just did as I was coming back uh, to the couch but he's not moving like I said a lot so he's not like going to disturb you when you watch a uh, movie okay this is longer than I thought but I just wanted to show you how difficult it can be to connect BB9 to uh, a movie after playing with BB9 for a few days and completing this review as you can hear I kind of lost my voice but I want to finish this uh, review so I just want to let you know that you can also go outside the Star Wars universe with BB-9 and uh, install the Sphero uh, Edu for education uh, app and it works with BB-9 I just want to show here the screen because this is a uh, review by itself as you can see for those of you who have uh, seen my Cosmo uh, videos especially the ones on uh, code lab and constructor mode there is a graphical 
uh, programming or coding uh, application that you can use to uh, program uh, BB9. So I'll do a separate video of that because you can uh, you can do various uh, things and that would be too long to add here uh, in uh, in this uh, review. So uh, I just wanted to show that to you guys uh, briefly before I uh, give you my final conclusion. So my final thoughts on uh, BB9. There's a lot of technology here, rolling ball, inductive charging station. This thing works here through you know, a magnet here in the ball. You have the trainer over here or the treadmill. So there's a lot of technology. This is Bluetooth connecting to your phone. The app is great on the phone. So if you're a Star Wars fan, I would say yes, but maybe not at full price. That's my problem. Like, if you're not a Star Wars fan for that price, you could also look at a robot like Cosmo. And actually, I invite you to look at my comparison video, Cosmo versus BB-9. I'm sure you'll find that very interesting. So, um, Star Wars fan, yes, it's a great robot, but I'm not sure I would pay the full price. So thank you for watching, everyone. I hope to see you soon on my channel. Have a great day. Goodbye.